and go over the top. Oh god. Okay, anyways, we are back. Uh, last time we ran around in the halls of Colosia and used Crush a lot. And this time we got a ground spear that we have to kill a hundred enemies with. So we're gonna go outside and kill a hundred enemies with it. Which means... Yeah. We have to screw with the dog's AI. Alright, come get some. God, these guys are annoying. Can you throw Are they blocking when they do that? Uh, technically, I think. And no, I can't throw the spear, because throwing the spear is level 1, and I am not level 1 yet. That's sad, Very She's level 2. Did you just turn that guy into bones? Yep. Man, that spear is powerful enough to stab the meat off of people. <laughs> hey Sarge, where'd all your meat go? It got stabbed off. Anus! Okay, now I actually have to use a pure spell. Good news is the bronze spear is strong enough that it takes care of most stuff. Well, that's good. I'm honestly gonna mark this episode as don't watch this one. Or skip this episode. Just put level grinding. People will, you know, watch it or not watch it. Yeah. Because I actually usually watch grinding videos anyway, because they're usually funny. Yeah, it's, it's the right up there is, with the nothing, shopping thing. There's nothing going on. Yes, but watching people suffer for, through boring things is fun. Well, you don't get to watch the people yeah, watching the video. Yes, but you can at least hear the, the suffering. What, you mean of us two? Like, you know, us two, or...? Well, no, in, in general. Oh yeah, fun story for you guys. Um, You know how that Modern Warfare 3 came out today? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a, well, apparently before it came out, the company that made it, like one of the companies that made it, Sledgehammer Games, said yeah. they were shooting for 95% Metacritic and uh, completely bug-free. Which is, I'm assuming you know, it's already broken. Well, yeah, first of all, it's Activision, so it's not going to be bug-free. I like Activision now. And it's an online shooter, so it's not going to be bug-free. Yeah. It's not an online shooter. Yes, it is. It's no, Modern it's... Warfare 3. People yeah. might as well consider it an online shooter, as tragic as that may be. Yeah, most people buy those games for the multiplayer. Yeah. The, I mean, s the single Chives. player of the campaign, are, it, that's literally just supplement. This is just a continuation of what we were talking about last week during Nobillion Economics 101, but anyways... <laughs> uh, basically, my friend Chives, he bought the game, he bought Black Ops full price, he played the campaign last month. <laughs> and to be honest, you know, the discussion that we had last time was essentially, games used to be, and you know, almost, at least in my mind, ought to be, Mainly for the single player, and the multiplayer is a supplement. Yeah. But, I agree with that. But most game companies are going to go for the profitable thing, and most people are going to go, well, I'd rather play with other people than try and figure out a story. Eh, it depends on the game more than anything else. Well, okay, that's why the well, JRPG I mean, is dying. Yeah, that that is true. Like, the last... Well, like that and the fact that JRPGs frequently have a lot of crap that is extremely painful to go through. No. No, not really. Like, to be honest, like, as much shit as people throw at Final Fantasy XIII, it's one of the more enjoyable RPGs that I've played in the last few years. I mean, it's got a great battle system, you the really characters are interesting. You really don't really have full control over your character until the last quarter of it? 
Well, no. to be fair, then what are you gonna call you know like any of the Metal Gear Solid games? Well, no, but here's you, the thing: you have you have virtually interactive no... cutscenes, pretty much. Well, no, yeah, they, which was belled. Here's the sure. thing about a uh, Final Fantasy, like just the Final Fantasy series in general. Final Fantasy XIII is doing what almost every other game in the series has done. Okay, they're just doing it more. Ob they're just being much more obvious about it. Like Final Fantasy IV, you're very railroaded in Final Fantasy IV. Final Fantasy VI, you get the you can have free reign with the in the airship for an hour, and at that point there is nothing to do in the world. I mean, it's still fun to fly around, but there is nothing to do. There's no side quest that's not open. You've got you go to a town, you buy stuff, and then you the only thing left for you to do is to go on with the story. Final Fantasy X. Still, it's it's not. It's the fact that they made it more obvious is what makes it a problem. No. Not even. It's because, kind I mean, of it's this still game where this game is of aware of what it is. I mean, I I think it's better, that, you know, when a game understands what it is and what it's going for as opposed to shooting for something and becoming a parody of itself. Or trying to be a parody of itself. That's sort of. Or just pulling what I like to call Duke Nukem Forever. I don't need yeah. armor or two weapons. I use all my stuff. And then he proceeds to, you know, spend the next ten hours or so sticking to every shooter mechanic that's been around since Halo. Yeah. Although, to be fair, as far as... Uh, that, that is a horrible, horrible uh, reference when it comes to, like, any game. Because, I don't know about you, but I thought that was fueled by the internet. And... It, well, the it, entire reason the game came out was the internet. I know, and to be fair, that's a horrible, horrible, you know, thing to base it on, because, I mean, when you look at, you know, a lot of different, you know, things that people are going to go after, it's not going to be the internet. The internet has a, you know, bad habit of abandoning what it liked as soon as they have to pay money for it. Well, the thing was, though, even going into Duke Nukem Forever, everyone, except for, like, PC Gamer, I think, was very wary about the game purely because it had been in development so long and it came out of development at a really weird point at in just like physics gener in general like there was rumors yeah. of it being taken out of development right around the time that Unreal 2.5 was still a viable engine by the time it yeah. came out Unreal 3 had been around for four or five years and everyone's looking at this game going holy cow this game looks like shit well yeah that that was one of the big, you know, really uh, points look against that it. Bad. It looks like it's for the PS2. Yeah, that, that's how it's described. I've got to. That you're, I think, overestimating the PS2's graphical capabilities. Okay, Are you sure? let me give you an example. The PS2 is an amazing, you know, bit. I I'm typically an Xbox, or you know, I'm an Xbox gamer and a PC shooter. I will give the PS2 unholy amounts of credit, because that is a solid gaming system. Yeah, they did, like, the PS2, apart from, like, the controller, which, to be honest, is a little bit too small for a lot of people's hands, Yeah. everything but about that's... that system could do stuff extremely well. Like, like I was playing Onimusha Warlords. That's a game that came out at launch for PS2. It still holds up beautifully. It's still an incredibly fun game. And to be honest, the way... That has nothing to necessarily to do with well no like it's still itself. no it's i mean gameplay. no 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 what i mean is like if you look at some of the old ps2 ps1 games like if you look at uh if you look at final fantasy 7 as good a game as that is you know as much as i shit on it it is a good game i'll admit that it you know it it doesn't hold up that well like the graphic like when you're on the field you got the huge elbows when you're not on the field you got weird like the Overall, it just hasn't really aged that well. Onimusha still looks fantastic. Like you, like the just the overall effects of the game looks fantastic, or, and even more so when you consider the time that it came out in. Here's my argument as far as you know the PS2. Aside from the fact that it's built extremely well, like to break one of those, you have to honestly try to. Yeah, like I the, dropped my thin PS2, and it hasn't been trouble yet. The the other thing about it is, is that that run time, like the amount of time that it ran, I mean, Ten years. okay, when yeah, when the PS3 
three came out, how long had Xbox and the 360 been out? Um, the Xbox 360 had been out for a year, I think, when the PS3 finally came out. And when when did the the first Xbox come out? Like, when was zero hour? First Xbox uh, came out end of 2001. Okay. Yeah. Something like that. It was end of 2001, because I remember them delaying it because of 9-11. Uh, that's true. It got delayed yeah. by, like, two weeks. And being a stupid little kid that I was, I was actually happy. I was like, yeah, 9-11 caused the Xbox to get delayed. That way, GameCube's better. And then my super punch... Yeah, well, I was 10 or 11. Yeah, but I don't even understand how that logic makes sense. It doesn't. Again, I was 11. Anyways, you uh, were saying... Yeah, you're, you're trying to apply logic to a small child's brain. Trust me. Working in a restaurant, I've learned little children lack the ability to use logic or reason in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, uh, you were going to be saying, Jen? Po point being, it, it lasted... It, aside from ones that like had no real alternative, like trust me, I can guarantee Sony could have probably kicked out a new gaming system each year and improved on it. But they were able to stick with the PS2 because it had that capability. It's... And to be honest, they made that one for the long run. That yeah, was a I mean, good I mean, system. Sony does make That's good true. hardware. They didn't just limit the crap out of it in many cases. Well, the no, thing is, though, I mean, another thing is, they continue to make the games look fantastic, even, like, like, you look at, you compare Xenosaga and, like I've said before, like, Onimusha or Final Fantasy X. You wouldn't believe that the two games are made on, the two systems, like, if you just looked at gameplay and not, like, cinematics and stuff, you wouldn't believe they were made on the same system. Yeah. Like, if you look at the some of the stuff in Xenosaga, you'd think, oh, this looks like, you know, early PS3 stuff. Or, you know, GameCube. You wouldn't believe that it's early, P that it's, like, mid-PS2. I don't want to deal with three spiders at once. I'm just going to crush them. <laughs> Fuck crush is now level six! And it didn't kill them! Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Win for the spiders everybody. really do not seem to be vulnerable to crush. No, they Which got is a surprising height. because spiders yeah. are usually easy to squish. Yeah, I was going to say, of all the things to be vulnerable to crush, you'd think bugs would be the last one in line. Do they have a rolled up newspaper spell? <laughs> uh, That's no. what they're Or shoe. There is a shoe spell, you do get that in the next area. Really? What does it do? It throws a shoe. Uh, alchemy, everybody. Head. Alchemy. It throws shoes. Oh, speaking of speaking of crazy shit, let's see what uh, Sting does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> the bees. Oh, oh Nicholas my Cage God. in that movie. Wait, the bees are supposed to come out of your arm. More about the show. We're not pl yeah, I was gonna say, we're not playing Bioshock. I will admit, that's like, know, the coolest but... effect in the game. You get that to like, level 3 and it's like, all infected and shit. Yeah, that is the best thing, by, with no question. The B arm. Um... <laughs> it's also kind of uh... disgusting, because it's like, you got bees oh, yeah, like, that's... crawling around in inside the boils and stuff, you got them crawling between boils. Yeah, it didn't look nice. But it was a cool effect. But it was... Yes. And just the idea of being able to send bees at your enemies. Yeah. Anyways, back to the whole little thing as a hold up over time talk. Do you ever have noticed? N Nintendo mm. stuff? Like, maybe it's just like the ho it's like Disney kind of stuff, like, you know, it's Nintendo, you just equate it with fun games. But, Nintendo 64 games hold up at over, like, hold out, m in like, infinitely better than anything on the PlayStation 1. Um, like, you look at, look, no, you look at, you look at stuff I on the, might, you look at some of the stuff I on might, the, oh, well, sorry, go. You look at some of the stuff on the PS1, like, Spire of the Dragon or something like that, you think, well, this is a fun game, but it doesn't really look that good, but... You look at, you know, like, Zelda, or... Look yeah, at Ze those look pretty crappy, too. They really do. 
Well, you're a PC gamer, dude. What? Yeah, I actually like tests and I'm used to games that look good. Yeah, because no PC games ever look crappy later. Oh no, no, no. there's no such thing as a crappy looking PC game. Alright, well, anyways. That's supposed to be? Well, at least you can throw some. I'm just saying now. that you're used to a different level of quality than the most of them. I'm. Here's the bed, though. When it comes to a lot of early and uh, or well, just like N64 go games. I'm just gonna do a save stage. Anyways. When it comes to N64 games, I, again, I, that was one of the things that I always got to look forward to when I was, you know, you know, I think in, not even middle school, still elementary school, I'd go over to my neighbor, neighbor's house and play it. That yeah. was fun. What did he just do? He confounded me. No, I mean, did he just, like, leap across the room or what? Dude, he's rolling, thing. I see. Yeah, it's the same okay, gimmick so that the, Okay, so now you're fighting a normal Minotaur. Yeah, I'm fighting a Megatar. God damn it. God and I'm also dealing... Oh, and crap, got to reset the dog's the AI. Did you just kill him? Uh, no, he just teleported. I am dealing insane amounts of damage to him, though. Hooray for Crush. Damn. By the way, well, this is what the majority of the boss is going are gonna into be. the fire. <laughs> Suck it. Uh, I love this game. Wait, did you get hurt by his explosion? I don't no. know. I don't really care because it was he's a piece of cake. Yeah. Hey, this place doesn't look familiar, does it? I almost feel as though you ha you should try and challenge yourself to not use Crush in your next boss battle. No! Yeah. We're gonna switch- You said challenge yourself, I didn't say succeed. That implies <laughs> I'm actually gonna do that. Use Atlas, dude. Yeah. Well, no, the thing is though, if I wanna use Atlas, I'm gonna have to power up Atlas. And that's incredibly expensive, because that's like- because he ends up charging 50 bucks more for each jewel, for each of those items, for each of the item that you need to use Atlas. So it would just be even more time consuming powering it up to a level where it's useful. Well, at least just smack someone around with it first. Alright, fine, I'll use Atlas. In fact, you know what? What do you mean now? Here, I got an idea. I got an idea. We're gonna save a state here. We're gonna go back, we're gonna beat the boss legit. Yes! Okay, no, if he's gonna use Crush, I'm going to. You get one. Yeah, you get one for each time he uses it. It's only fair. You need to reset the dog's AI. Yeah, yeah. He is going into the fire. Yeah. That's how he his jacked up logic uses. At least you're actually inflicting decent damage to him when you attack him. With a level one spear, yeah. Let's see now. Action. Fucking rip his face off. <laughs> Kick his ass. <laughs> Okay, that's two. Okay, so... First things first. Heal. Next step. Fucking crush. <laughs> Three. You really want to turn this into a fight? I'm going to win. <laughs> Six. <laughs> How does the damage <laughs> difference? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he seemed to disappear. He just crushed him into the ground. You just whooped him into another dimension. Oh, that last one didn't count since the damage didn't record. Okay, that one doesn't count either because this damage doesn't record.
there. Boom. Back to the other stage. Yeah, it works. That's close enough. <laughs> That's as... You at least attacked him with something other than Crush once. That's as good as we're gonna get. I attacked him the other time with... I threw the spear at him once the other time. It's just that the using the spear kind of sucks. That's because the spear's not level 3 yet. If the spear's level 3, then it is ridiculous. What is the level 3 attack for a spear? Um, I, I think he throws two of them. Oh, okay. Okay, and across the bridge. Oh god, it's a... <laughs> what Whatever the hell is that is. That? Is that another bird-headed guy? Or is it a snake head? I don't know, but it reminds... You can't go up this way, it's much too steep for you, buddy. Because, oh, you know, how stairs and dogs, you know, not so much. Well, look, it looks like they have a doggy door right there for him. <laughs> yep, this is the main gimmick for, uh, the pyramids. Oh, fun times. So yeah, is this thing gotta... like this in Majora's Mask? No, there was a thing... That was just annoying, that was Stone Tower Temple, and that was stupid. No, Anyways, no, no, uh, the thing where you had to get that, that... The, the mask oh for the yeah, yeah, the sun mask, right? Okay, well, we're gonna call that it an one. episode here. So we'll be right back with more Secret of Evermore.